rule. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're going to have the Battle of the Heavies and the Battle of the Kongs versus the Kremlings. Yeah, it's a canonically, it's a canonically, canonically bad matchup for, uh, for Ha here, but, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, especially with those projectiles. Of course, being a heavyweight, um, K. Rule can also take a lot of damage from Donkey Kong, especially from cargo throw. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah. For sure, yeah. Cargo up throw into up air, or a couple of back airs is almost always going to be a true combo on yeah, K. Rule. Sure. Here we go, getting right into it. Game number one of top sixteen, and this is a best of five. Okay. Yeah, everything top sixteen is going to be best of five, even yes. So. I'm curious of how uh, Han's going to be dealing with K. Rule's projectile. Uh, he has a lot Could of uh, hits stage. Yeah. Now, Luke, Luke plays this matchup with me a lot, so we're going to see uh, if he can carry over some of his, his experience uh, into this set here. Pretty sure. Yeah, definitely having that matchup experience would be really good. Yeah, that dash attack is going to be a really strong tool. It's fast, long-ranged, it's got belly armor, and it's super strong. I don't One know. One of Gabriel's most valuable buffs in the recent I, patch. I don't know back if uh, catch the roll. Donkey or uh, DK's uh, back here is strong enough to hit Gabriel's uh, side B with armor. Maybe at the strong hit it is enough to break it, but that I don't believe so. No. Okay. So that back here can't even do it. They're probably not even in there. Maybe even a strong. Yeah, hit. the soft yeah. air, no chance. Yeah. He has to be basically right on top. And by the time he even gets there. K Rill's pretty much already gonna be active or able to act out. See right there. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <clears throat> that was a bit of an awkward situation there. Mm -hmm. And uh Donkey Kong can't really edge guard K Rill that well as if uh K Rill's coming low, aside from like a traded down and Yeah, what what DK wants to do is get at, at that sort of forty five degree angle below mm -hmm. Dunk below K Rill so that he can back air the startup of the FB. Aside from that, there's not, there aren't too many options, no. Uh, just just for the punch, the punch is only minus four on shield. And so, just have, uh, for time reference, what are you at? I'm at 5.30. 5.30? Okay, I'm at 5.16. Okay, so I'm about like 10 seconds behind. The stream is uh, a little bit, a little bit better. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the stream right now. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah, so my stream, my stream's only a couple seconds behind. Okay, that's better. I said Not a bad match. He's definitely only a grab. Maybe maybe a grab or two away from taking the stock. For sure, but he's definitely building up that percent. Unfortunately, he misses that down oh, smash. Oh, down smash. The spot dodge down smash. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's one of the things that uh, K. Rill is definitely good with is that they buff that belly armor. So now his belly armor can take a lot more hits. This is very, yeah. very yeah. weak. Down smash is a particularly infuriating move to deal with. He gets the down tilt into F smash. No 120. It's not over. It's very easy to game Donkey Kong in this matchup. For he's gonna sure. have to be. He's gonna have to be very careful about how he. Uh, Oh, get that behaves. down tilt! Oh my lord, that range! Probably yeah. because from the giant fist, uh, uh, extended his hurt box a bit further, so the down tilt just buried him. So, yeah, uh, Han's gonna, uh, Han gonna have to be careful about how he, uh, behaves offstage in this matchup, because it's, it's very easy for K. Rule to gimp him yeah. with a down air or a back air or something like that. For sure, and he's not, he's doing a good job not challenging K. Rule in case, uh, K. Rule sucks him and he gets off, but getting that forward air, Yep. Han is going to take the first game 1-0 over uh, Luke Duke, but Luke Duke definitely did fight back. Definitely yeah, no, it was, it was certainly not uh, certainly not a blowout by any means, but Han did look very comfortable in the matchup, so we'll have to see how Luke can adapt. wonder what stage he'll try to go to here. Mm -hmm. I, I assume he wouldn't want to go to a small stage that for uh, Donkey Kong to be able to close the gap much easier. So I probably still yeah. bigger stage. 
I think he'll try to pick something like Kalos or FD if uh, yeah. Hot isn't bad those because he doesn't want platforms either. Platforms only For sure. assist on yeah, uh, those ding dong kills. Yeah, so I don't see um, Town and City for sure. I think that's 100% guaranteed. Battlefield, definitely not. Mm -hmm. Smashville, I don't think so. Oh, he is going Crom. Okay. Oh, he's going Crom? All right, yeah. yeah. So, Shane, uh, being a bit of a faster character, uh, could challenge DK a lot more easier. This is an incredibly difficult matchup for DK. Well, incredibly for sure. difficult. He's also played me in this matchup quite a bit. I so played uh, uh, a Duke's uh, Crom before at uh, one of the flat zones. Very good. Yeah. I yeah, no, he, he's he got a lot of character knowledge. His reaction time is very good. His mm -hmm. ledge trapping is good, although saying that is kind of a meme because we all know about Chrome ledge trapping. Yeah, jab at ledge. Same thing with Roy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Jab and F tilt and down tilt. Yeah, for sure. Good conversion gets the down throw into two up airs and gets the back air. Yeah. And obviously he has the consistency mm. of uh, a little bit, uh, uh, <clears throat> A little bit tentative on that ledge trapping situation. I feel like he could have gone for a jab or something. Keeping DK on the ledge is crucial in any matchup because DK's get up options are so bad. Really nice B reverse, uh, giant punch there by Hunt. And he kind of steals the opening stock after struggling to maintain stage control. Jab back here from Luke, that's going to even up the stocks right away. Yeah, I'm just a few seconds behind. That's not too bad. Definitely bad. Yeah, that's down angle, down, down angle side B is going to be. 21% damage, and Luke takes the lead off of a couple of forward airs. Just the mobility of Krom will definitely be able to maneuver around Donkey Kong a lot better. For sure. Nice F smash to catch the landing up air. We'll have to see. Oh, Han goes for that up B again. He's been picking that option in sticky situations on the ledge, and it's been working out for him so far. And then he takes the lead. Oh, he goes for that punch again, but this time Luke was privy to it. Yeah. And Luke he gets a kill with a dash attack. It's a rare option. For sure. Uh, I see Luke dude going a lot for trying to like seemingly two frame with the neutral B. Um, I don't think it has helped out yet. So I'd like to see him go for yeah, that side B. Oh, that side B is not safe, but Han didn't punish it in time. Yeah. All right, now that side, side up B almost killed. Oh, yeah. What time are you at? I'm at 5.06. 4.53. Okay. So, yeah, it's about 10. It's about 10 seconds. Fine. Okay. 10 or 15. Jab back air. Luke is extending his lead very nicely here. Another, he wastes another punch. But if he gets a grab, or maybe a B is very stale, so it's not going to kill you. But if he gets a back air or a grab in this ledge interaction, then it's certainly not over. Yeah, for sure. Just like how it's difficult for DK to get off the ledge against Krom, it's also tough for Krom just to uh, make it back to the stage against DK, because DK has back errors and a couple of spikes, and Krom's recovery is certainly suspect. And if he reads the up going past ledge, definitely, if he has a full uh, giant punch charged up, that'll definitely... Yeah, that, that armor just gets right through the up uh, He was trying to hit it with F-Smash um, earlier. Mm -hmm. in the game and that wasn't going too well because he wasn't spacing it properly but and, uh, yeah DK, these characters both have plenty of tools to for sure and luke to Duke compromise takes, uh, each other's recoveries yeah luke Duke takes a uh, game two with that f tilt yes. so the game's now one one and uh we'll definitely see uh what stage uh how we'll go to next i imagine now he wants a better stage with i don't know how uh, Battlefield's still pretty good though, because he has access to those platforms. And obviously, you can't go small Battlefield considering that's not a stage in uh, this yeah. tournament. Yeah. So, yeah, my stage my list stage is a bit dated, but it's what works for us. So, yeah, for sure. <laughs> kind of is what it is. I wonder if Han might be switching characters here. Does he have any? To be taken. Oh, no, I'm not sure, but he's staying DK for this. Okay, um, what well, others? I feel like Yoshi. Yoshi's does a must ban in this matchup. Yeah, for sure. With that little <clears throat> tailing and the extra platforms. So. Yeah. Can't yeah, go Smashville. Into... Smashville I think Smashville is probably the best one, yeah. It's less stage and it's less space on the ground. And it's very easy for DK to get combos, uh, platform assisted combos. Yeah, for sure, considering that this is a good huge platform. Oh, he actually caught, he read the landing aerial with the F smash, but didn't space it properly. Couple of up tilts uh, uh, from Ha. Huh? 
he tries to catch the landing with a dash attack. And actually that down B, uh, due to its number of hits, it actually is able to break the armor of the side B. Oh, really? That, yes. I, I did not know that. Um, so Luke trying to juggle. Look at that Kron frame data. Landing back air, spot dodge, down tilt jab. And Hunk could only punish after the second jab on the shield. That's so funny. That's insane. So here's the thing is Luke seems to be moving backwards at the right times, baiting out these dash attacks. But he's either misspacing his dash back and getting hit by it, or he's not punishing it because the late hit of, da of DK's dash attack is very safe on shield. Yeah. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but DK's dash attack can actually be minus one on shield if the last hit of its activity connects. I knew it was somewhat safe, but I didn't realize it was that safe. Yeah. It's minus 14 if the first hit connects. Minus one if the last hit connects. Yeah. Oh, he goes for the suicide up B. Yeah. Interesting. Very good delayed recovery from Khan. That would that would absolutely secure the stock if he had uh, drifted too far in. Yeah. Unfortunately, so that's a huge deficit because uh, Luke Duke did have a big lead, but now it's all even yeah. up just because of that one. Uh, so that time he caught, he he properly spaced the punish on Huz landing and got some damage for it. Nair into back air. So the name of the game is just seeing how long Luke Duke can stay in advantage state because Ha is doing very well when they're both at center stage, but he's finding a lot of trouble uh, getting off the ledge, as is typical of DK. Yeah, they're that F smash to catch the ledge roll. Yeah. One thing Luke Duke has to be uh, also careful of is that uh, car DK's That's it. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the uppie. Literally just uh, carry them off stage and down throw, and then he just recovers back because of problems that poor recovery. Yeah, so exactly. Luke doing a really good job. Making sure he doesn't get grabbed. Up to get a shield. Han needs a kill here. Oh, he went for F smash again. I wonder if he knows that he can punch that. And then he gets the weak head of the punch that has reverse knockback. Yep. Yeah. Tries to jump out of that up B, but uh, it was for naught. So we're at last stock situation again here. I don't see uh, Han using the giant punch. There's been like two instances, at least from what I've seen, that uh, Luke Duke has offered to try to recover above ledge, but uh, I'm noticing he, yeah. dash. he primarily he primarily uses it in defensive positions. So like landing, getting off the ledge, or getting out of the corner. Probably the three most dangerous positions to be in. But he's not able to make it back from that F tilt, and uh, Luke Duke is going to take a two-one lead. Fair, uh, a game that, that looked much closer than it was because of Luke's uh, SP yeah. at 10% going for the suicide kill. And then um, also helped that, it didn't help that uh, when uh, Luke Duke did the jab, uh, Han tried to jump out and wasted his yes. double jump and he got caught. So Yeah, you can't can jump. You have to either spot dodge or keep shielding. Then you can grab the second jab. You can't grab yeah. the first one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That move is like ridiculously safe. Well, it's not so much safe. It's not so much safe as there's just not a lot of ending lag. Like down tilt is actually safe. Down tilt is minus six. Jab is like minus ten, which means if you have game and reach up B or a fast area left shield, you can punish it, but you can't shield grab it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Has to come out with an option because this is this will send him to losers. He's not out of the tournament, but. It will yes. winners, which is a much harder climb to deal with than in winners. I wonder, it seems like he's, uh, he's either deliberating which character to pick or which stage to pick. And, uh, quite honestly, uh, if he has a secondary that's fairly polished, I think it's not a bad play here because Krom mm -hmm. D, I think Krom is possibly DK's hardest matchup. Not Pikachu? Honestly. Well, maybe Pika, yeah, yeah, maybe Pika, yeah. but... <laughs> but Pika beats yeah. every character, aside from, like, two. Well, maybe and, and then DK can at least walk, can at least trade with Pika sometimes in air-to-air -air combat. He can't really with Krom because of Krom's range. And the disjoints, yeah, for sure. Thank you, Ben. I am the best bot that my channel has. Unless Scrump is on commentary, then he's the best robot. <laughs> that was so funny. That was amazing. Made amazing. <laughs> I think it made it like 10 times more funny because I, so, oh, I was not wow. aware of it. Yeah, he's going Roy. Okay. So we got the Croy ditto here. 
So Gorm and yeah, I, okay. I, I like I like this pick from I like this pick from Ha in theory. It's mm. a much more equipped character to deal with uh, Krom's tools. For sure. But uh, at the same time, it's the same character minus hitbox properties, and so yeah. I feel like Luke is going to be fairly comfortable in this matchup. For sure, and. Um... Luke, dude, can easily space more because of this consistent hitbox. Roy kind of has to get more in and get those sweet spots. For sure, yeah. Yes, Roy kills early, but he has to get in and into dangerous situations sometimes. Yeah, he kills. He can kill earlier, but it's less consistent. He needs to land the right hitbox of jab, whereas Krom can just get a backer regardless of which hitbox connects most of the yeah. time. So that's the main reason why why I think Krom is better. I'd way rather be able to kill at 90 time then kill at 60 half the time and 140 the other half of the time for sure but roy also does have that down b so if uh luke duke has to recover with the up special underneath yes, the stage that is true easily counter and the thing is though and i've been noticing this in all three games all, all three prior games and this game so far is luke duke really hasn't spent any time off stage he's no, been so good true. at maintaining he's been so good at maintaining stage control there he gets that back air kills from center stage at 138, and he's looking good so far. Oh, nice uh, pivot cancel F tilt to catch the landing. Luke Duke was trying to drift to the ledge so that he wouldn't have to up B like you were talking about. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Ha was privy to it. Yeah, if Luke Duke can just avoid uh, doing the up B to stage, that's that's really good. Yeah, for sure. And if he has to, he should be able to save his double jump. Because Roy, uh, Krom shares the same air mobility as Roy, and it's pretty yes. good. It's very good air speed. Tech chase, so he misses the tech chase there. That side B is going to be dangerous. Roy also yeah, Luke, does Luke have is that, that. defaulting to the air dodges to ledge rather than the up Bs. That's smart. Yeah. But we'll see if Ha is able to respond to it. He goes for the jump read off the ledge with that back air. So Luke Duke can safely get up attack. Interesting option. I'm really liking Ha's movement off of platforms. Like he was doing B reverse punches with BK, now he's doing B reverse. Uh, blazer, or not blazer, blazer's the up B. B reverse, um, Flare neutral blade. beast with Roy Flare Blade, right. right. Um, well, yeah, I, no, I, would, I would like to turn the table. Yeah, one thing I would like to see Han do is try to challenge uh, Luke Duke on recovering because he's sitting on ledge and Luke Duke is just so comfortable air dodging just straight to ledge. I'd like to see him try yeah. to do like a few yeah. down tilts and try to bait him into not going for that option. So I think part of what's happening here is <clears throat> Luke is needing to be a fair bit more precise with his attacks because he's not dealing with uh, a character with such a massive hurt box like DK. Right, for sure. And I, I'm just seeing I'm seeing his play become a little bit... It became gradually slower in this game, and I think that's been very beneficial for Ha. Ha's been able to establish and dictate the tempo a lot of the time. Yeah, for sure. Especially considering Roy really wants to get in, he has no problem just pushing it as much as he can. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Soaring Slash can kill you, but that f tilt's going to do it. I wonder if we could see Luke go for a suicide combo. It's a bit risky. Can he catch the double jump? No. That is risky uh, just the ledge. Yeah, that's pretty risky considering uh, the last time he tried to do a suicide, it just didn't work. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, he's but if he can oh, this is going to kill. Oh, how didn't... Uh, account for the cross up or no he accounted for the cross up he didn't expect it to just land on uh, his right side there luke bringing this back slowly but surely now we can see him playing more assertively it's like he's uh he's really amped up his own aggression and ha is the one who's getting caught in a couple of spots of course uh luke Duke using a lot of oh is that gonna kill yes it is he made a false move going for the going for the was a bit overzealous and Ha punishes landing with the F tilt. So we're going to game five. Going to game five. Interesting. Yeah. Just saw it right there. So really good counter pick from Ha. Uh, because if you had stayed Donkey Kong, that would have been really hard to deal with. Yeah, I'm, for sure. Uh, I think the Roy was definitely the right pick here. I'm curious. So now the question is, does Luke go back to K rule for game five? I don't because think so. The, my main reason is because Roy can easily rush up on Krom and he has enough solid hits. Like, obviously, Luke Duke will have the projectile game. The question is, just Roy is so fast and he's always going to be in your face. For sure. The question is, does he have 
would he have enough time? Maybe he just likes a bigger stage, but Roy's just so fast. And it does so much damage. And heavyweights are just, oh, I want to combo you to death. So I think Krom is still the right decision. Unless uh, Luke Duke has any other uh, characters up his sleeve, but I don't see him switching to K. Roll. I could be wrong though. Yeah, so we're yeah, gonna so see we're the Croy Ditto for game five once again. Of course, the winner of this game will advance to winner's semis, where they will play either Overlux or Thick, and then they'll have guaranteed top six as well. So Town and City is the pick from Luke. And this is interesting because I feel like it's really, that's almost a counter pick for him because of the larger blast zones. Roy is the one who's going to be killing earlier on every stage. But so if he's trying, if he's trying to nerf the kill power of Roy, he's also indirectly nerfing the kill power of himself. But he gets that edge guard. Excellent start from Luke Duke. You don't need to worry about normal kill power when you can just edge guard somebody at 80. Sure. Yeah. Luke off One of the things that start. Luke Duke is definitely picking up that hunt is not is that Luke Duke is going out to actually challenge Roy. Yes. Who's just offering to like stay on stage and try to ledge trap. And that's a oh, and just as you said that, Hunt did the exact same thing. Oh wow. <laughs> and now this is definitely Hunt is within striking distance of uh, of reestablishing control. And honestly, for how lackluster these characters' recoveries are, their edge guard potential is actually very strong. Their dash speed is good, their air speed is good, they have fast aerials. And Luke in particular actually loves uh, going off stage to edge guard with Krom, even though he knows that ledge trapping is usually more optimal. Yeah. yeah. But considering with the limited uh, recovery of these two characters, um, it's not a bad option to go for in this matchup. That's uh, an errant up B. It's gonna, he gets an F smash punish on that. Excellent counter play there from Ha. Huh? It's going to be a counter. Oh my goodness. Sometimes Krama B just <laughs> completely bypasses counters like it's nobody's business. It's honestly crazy sometimes. Now oh, Luke yeah. Is the one, Luke is the one with stage control. And Luke parries the first hit of the side B and tries to go for an up B, but the second hit of side B is too fast. And Ha huh takes the second stock first. But as I say that, Luke Duke fires right back with the F tilt. And there's yeah. only a 1.4% deficit between these two players. Yeah, Roy's dancing uh, double edge blade is just so insane. 19 kills, you can kill you at like 60. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. I mean, we saw it kill at about 120 there. Yeah, for sure. That's honestly the. <laughs> that's honestly the normal. Like that, mm -hmm. that would be that would be considered acceptable, an acceptable percentage to die to that move. Yeah, 60. But it's nowhere near the minimum threshold yeah. required for it. Yeah, exactly. Very close game five. Uh, tried to catch that roll in the roll in towards the stage on that platform with a back air, but got punished for it. Luke gets the up, he had a shield. He's one jab back air away from winning. Both of the, he goes for the down tilt instead of the jab. Really good up B from Ha huh? above stage. Oh, excellent up B towards the platform from Luke. That saved his life. Gets the up air. It's not going to kill. Town and city, man. Double edge dance from Roy. Luke Duke's off stage, and he doesn't make it back. He uppies a bit too far away from the stage, and Hunt takes game five. He steals it from Luke. Jeez, that's insane. Wow. Doesn't yeah, he doesn't get close enough, and uh, Han was ready for that counter. So even if uh, Luke Duke was making it towards ledge, Han had that counter ready. <clears throat> that is a heartbreaking defeat. Or yeah, SK's for sure. most hopeful candidate to win this bracket. Mm -hmm. But good stuff but to Hunt. He really he took a bit of a risk with uh, that Roy pick, seeing as yeah. though Luke mains the character. But, you know, he did an excellent job bringing back games four and five and taking this set home.